exactly a three-peat in tonight's Dirty Dining, but we do have three repeat offenders, along with a fourth restaurant where health inspectors found problems. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears takes us down the list of violations found by health inspectors. Too many demerits shut down repeat offender Las Americas for the third time in just five months. The Peruvian restaurant on Eastern and Sahara was forced to close after inspectors wrote up 46 demerits, including two imminent health hazards, sewage and gross unsanitary conditions. Photos document wastewater dripping from the ceiling and splashing onto floors and prep tables. Workers were walking through the dripping water while handling food. When we arrived at Las Americas, we found the lights off and the doors locked, but this sign saying they're temporarily closed and will reopen soon. Soon. The health district tells me that should not be because the owner told them he planned to permanently close his restaurant due to ongoing issues. Issues like expired food, 20 pounds of spoiled rotten lettuce. There was also a clean pepper stored on a dirty shelf, a five gallon dish detergent bucket being used to store octopus, numerous flies in the kitchen and excessive food debris on floors. The second 46 demerit closure came at Mega Tom's Burgers on Lake Mead and Simmons, where inspectors saw a food handler using bare hands on ready to eat food. They also wrote up expired fried rice, two week old refried beans and no person in charge. The food handlers in the facility did not want to assume responsibility of person in charge and called the owner to the store, which is exactly what happened when we were there. That's all up to them, the owner, and he's not here right now. We're trying to get, we got in contact with him, I don't know if he's coming down yet. Well, first they said that he was just left, then they told me he was in California. So which is it? No one really knows. He's like, I, I really don't know. I you don't know? To. They eventually get the owner on the phone, and I ask about the expired food. He says the labels were old, not the rice and beans, but says they threw it out anyway. As for the rest of their issues... Okay, so you got rid of a cook who you believe was the source of many of the problems in your kitchen? The two imminent health hazard closures are both dirty dining repeat offenders. Mr. Sandwich on Maryland Parkway in Harmon failed reinspection from a previous downgrade. Inspectors found bitter melons so moldy some of it was liquefying and excessive grease and food debris build up on things that were stored as clean. And Sin City Wings food truck was taken off the road due to lack of adequate refrigeration. Mr. Sandwich, Mega Tom's Burgers and Sin 